I actually think that this is a fairly basic geometry question, but a lot of people don't know how to do this, and the reference chart isn't going to help us out super much here. So we've got to just think about what we have. So let's just draw the circle, right? So we have a circle, and points A and B lie on the circle. The measure of arc AB is 45 degrees, meaning we can think of this as 45 out of 360, but I actually would label the 45 in here. Because the reason we talk about degrees of arc is it's it's kind of like we're opening up to the like from the angle at the center. So we want to think of it that way because a lot of times with circles, when we're breaking them apart, we're thinking about a slice or a sector of the circle, and that needs to be anchored on the center. So I think it's it's better to get back to that quickly because then they also tell us, and this is going to weird people out, that the length of arc AB is three. So you're like, okay, how could it be 45 and three? Well, these are two different measurements. 45 degrees is a proportion. Three inches is a distance, right? That's something you can measure with a ruler. You could not measure 45 degrees with a ruler. You could measure with like a protractor, but that again is that's how you'd measure an angle. So these are different qualities. Luckily, we have a way to combine them. So let's do this as three inches. And we want to find the circumference. So the circumference is the whole way around the circle. So in order to get that, we could kind of find the radius, but we don't really need to do that intermediate step because we have another formula we're going to use instead, uh, the part over whole. So the whole point of having these little slices is that they are parts of a circle that are consistent. Whether we're talking about the degree measure, the area, the circumference, it's a consistent fraction. So we have two ways of talking about this thing. So we're gonna set up two fractions and set them equal to each other to compare. So the part that we care about is 45 degrees. There's a whole number of 360 degrees in a circle. We care about the part of the arc that is three inches, but the whole arc, that's the circumference, right? So an arc length is part of a circumference and the whole circumference is the whole way around the circle, right? Arc is part of the way around, circumference whole way around. So this is what we're supposed to set up. There are formulas that you can learn for the arc length, the area of a sector, things like that, but uh, this formula does it all. So we don't really care whether we're given an arc or a, a circumference or a, an area, no matter what, the fraction way is gonna work. So that's why part of our whole is the better way to think about this. If you got a slice of a circle, you're probably setting up some sort of fraction like this. Now, um, a lot of ways we can do it, but let's cross multiply. So 45C is equal to, Regular calculator, 360 times 3 is 1080. Divide by 45, divide by 45. C is, let's see, 24. Uh, is that what they wanted, right? The circumference? Yep, 24. D, that's the answer. So not so bad. Like I said, this to me is a basic thing because this circle sector idea is pretty fundamental to geometry on the SAT. They love this kind of question but they don't really give us the formula of part of our whole in the reference chart. So it is one we have to memorize and kind of be comfortable with. And I will say this, this part of our whole thing is very often one step in those very complicated geometry problems that involve lots of steps near the end of the hard module. So you gotta be comfortable with this because in this case, it's kind of the only thing we're doing. But in most questions where I see them ask about this, it's one of many things. So you're already gonna be confused by everything else going on, so you need to be comfortable with this part of our whole idea so that you're not getting like lost completely. You're gonna need it. So anytime there's a slice of a circle, you wanna think part of our whole is the fraction, it's a very useful formula to know.